President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said that the proposed Maharlika Wealth Fund would be advantageous for the Philippines amid apprehension from several groups. Under the proposed Maharlika Wealth Fund, the government will allow to invest surplus reserves in real states and financial assets. It's very clear that uh, uh, we, we need added investment. This is another way. Initially, under the proposal, government financial institutions such as the Government Service Insurance System or GSIS, Social Security System or SSS, and the Development Bank of the Philippines or DBP would be allowed to invest their funds for high return. Some lawmakers already amended the proposal and removed the GSIS and SSS as sources of seed money for Maharlika. President Marcos Jr. said the proposal is going through the process in the legislature. So we're just doing the regular process of uh, looking at the bill. Well, not me. It's just, uh, the legislature. So let them do their jobs. perfect. Uh, the president also said debates on the proposal should cease until we see the final form of the bill. Meanwhile, PBBM would bring up the plight of Filipino seafarers when he meets with leaders of the European Union during the ASEAN-EU commemorative summit. The chief executive said the Philippines would address the deficiencies in the country's maritime education that put at risk the jobs of 50,000 Filipino seafarers deployed on European Union vessels. I think that we will going to do everything that we can. We cannot leave it hanging like this. Um, we cannot leave it hanging like this. And this is our last chance. So we have to really, uh, we, we really have to get it done. Early this year, the EU flagged the Philippines for deficiencies in local seafarer training and education. Nel Maribuhok, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.